Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chol. Today I will show you how to install Ubuntu 12.04 on VMware Workstation 9. In this part, there are two, uh, in this video, there are two parts. Part one will focus on VMware setting, and the part two, the installation practice. Step one, VM setting. Before we start installation of the Ubuntu on VMware, I have the, this kind of the settings. First one, number one, in my case, the host operating system is Windows 7 Home Premium and the uh, processor and the RAM size like this. And the number two virtual program is VMware Workstation 9. And the guest OS will be the Ubuntu 12. We can download this website from this website. And the file will be like this, Ubuntu 12.04 desktop ISO file. And the four installation of Ubuntu system are will allocate 30 gigabyte. And uh, on VMware, we need to customize some hardware. For example, network type will be NAT, and the memory size will be 1 GB. And uh, if we don't need the floppy, we need to remove like this. Step 2, the Linux partition. Normally, Linux system the support maximum partitions for each hard disk. For example, SCAS normally support until 16 partitions, and ID normally 16 support 64 total 63 hard disk and the, in the partition types there are three kind types primary extended and the logical primary normally has the maximum only the five four partitions so in this case we have we need to we need to we need over the four partitions in this case we can use the extended partitions and the extended partitions normally contain all logical partitions and normally in the file system type we created only there is only one extended partition logical partition maybe in case of the need over four partitions in this case we can use the logical and logical partition always start from number five for example dvsd5 or dvsd5 like this to control the partitions in this system we can use this kind of tools f disk cf disk or sf disk later uh, will uh, introduce how to use this kind of tools. Okay, for example, partition example, two primary and the three logical partitions. In this case, primary will be SD1, SD2, and the extended will be SD3 and logical SD5, SD6, and SD7, like this. If we want to have three primary and five logical partitions, in this case, SD1 to 3, and then extended will be SD4. And logical always start, start number 5, like SD5. And the others, SD6, 7, 8, 9, like this. Okay, in this video, for the Linux file system layout, I uh, will allocate 30 gigabyte. So in this case, the boot will be 100 megabyte, and the root will be 8 gigabyte, and the swap will be 2 gigabyte, home will be 500 megabyte, VAR will be 8,000, it mean 8 gigabyte. The USR will be 12,000 megabyte, mean 12 gigabyte. Okay, then let's start here. Sorry, here. Okay, at first create, next, and the, please the select this one. I will install the operating system later, and the next. The Linux system and the button will be Ubuntu right here. 
next. And uh, in my case, uh, Ubuntu 2 and the browse. In my case, I have a uh, okay here D virtual machine. So here I will make Ubuntu 2. Okay. Okay. Next and hard disk will be 30 gigabyte and the into multiple files and the customized hard disk so memory will be one gigabyte the processor I will select two and the floppy I will remove this one and the NAT will be NAT and the USB okay close and finish okay then let's start but uh, now Ubuntu this one I did not decide and I did not point eject the file so this one will be show the error message so here VM the removable devices here setting please select IS image file browse in my case uh, download program operating system Ubuntu so here please select this Ubuntu 12.04 desktop ISO file and after that OK and after that here VM power reset Okay, now the starting installation. Okay, first install Ubuntu. And uh, here has a list of 4 gigabyte and uh, connected the internet. And uh, we can select this one, download update while installing. But uh, if we select this one, it'll take a long time. So don't check. And the later after installation, we can also update all the packages. This one too. Okay, continue. Okay, here let's select something else and continue. So now here we can see the total our hard disk space is 32 that 2 gigabyte so here let's try to let's make a new partitions continue and here add and the first one will be the primary and this one's the size 100 and the beginning and the ext4 journaling file system and the first one will be the boot okay so we can see boot and the second partition add the primary, this one, 8,000 uh, and the beginning, xt4, and this one will be root. Okay. So now we can see sd2 and uh, add preface at here 2 gigabyte, and here we can uh, select swap area okay so now this one will be oh i'm sorry this one okay delete again this one must be primary and uh, okay beginning ext so here select swap area okay so now this one will be ext3 sd3 so now let's try to make a extended and the logical here okay now will be the logical so this one will be 500 and uh, this one ext4 and this one will be home okay so now you can find ext sd5 this one will be logical Okay, then the make uh, add this one the eight thousand and the ext four 
and uh, this one will be var and uh, here we cannot find primary logical because this one is belong to the logical automatically so okay and after that the last one here now i have around 13 gigabytes so add so beginning ext4 this one will be usr okay so now i finish so this one will be st7 okay install now Where are you? And the keyboard layout in this case I uh, will select uh, English. English, yes. Okay, continue. And here we need to make a username. In my case, uh, okay, tland, and the username also, and the password. So here, login automatically and require my password to login. So I select this one. Okay, continue. So now the Ubuntu will install all the packages. I think in this time we need to take a break around 10 or 20 minutes according to the status of our internet. Okay, now installation complete. Now let's restart. Okay, here password. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, we are successfully installed this one. How to use the terminal here? Okay, let's try to use terminal. So, in case, so now I'm the root, and uh, if we want to change IP address like this. Okay, now I'm successful to install Ubuntu 12.04. Okay, so far I show you how to install Ubuntu 12.04 on VMware Workstation 9. Thank you for watching this video and God bless you. See you next time.